another very exciting packet here. Still sealed John Cotton cigarillos. Now, not only are the folks who enjoy vintage cigarette cigars and boxing is going to enjoy this, but it's also one for the military buffs. Uh, I'll show you why in a moment. But yes, we have this 1960s, 1970s, not entirely sure. I'll try to find a bit more information. I'll tell you about that in a minute. We have the John Cotton Cigarillos filter tip made in Edinburgh. It's probably early 60s actually, because I, I the rebranding of John Cotton. But beautiful, still sealed. John Cotton Cigarillos. Uh, what makes these ones interesting is that they're by the NAAFI stores for HM Forces made in the UK of course now I did try contacting these because they still make products for the military to ask them a little bit about the packets maybe they could tell me was there in rations what year exactly but they never got back to me of course so yeah big shout out to all the Steve1989 fans like myself Probably enjoy that one. Let's open them up. Mm. Oh, that's tough. There we go. Oh, let's take a little look. Maybe one file. It's a bit difficult to open that up now when I ripped it. Such a fool. Ooh. There we go. Very interesting. immaculate genuinely immaculate but with the cigar paper I suppose a bit more uh, durable than the cigarette ones and a brown filter and as always we'll give it a sniff well surprise surprise it smells like a cigar a very mild very very mild cigar. Never mind. Sorry, I carried away there. Let's take another one out. So you can admire that one whilst I am. Uh... Mm. Very interesting. Never had a cigarillo before. That's why I'm intrigued to try one of these. Never seen anything quite like it. Is that a filter at the bottom or is that? really condensed tobacco. I think that's a filter. I'm 90% sure that's a filter. All right. You know what we gotta do? Let's give them a try. Uh, make sure there's nothing else in there. Uh, hey, it's Josh and Steve again, smoking another bit of history. We've got the uh, John Cotton cigarillos. The match is ready. Steve, can I do the honours? Thank you very much, sir. Cheers. Straight away struck by the colour of these. The colour on the filter tip. Amazing, isn't it? The chocolate. Can I smell like chocolate? Well, it just smells like a mild cigar. Mm. I'm not surprised, really. Let's go. The MRU match is ready. You got a match? I got a match. Yeah. And we go. Oh, yes. Well, that's exactly what you'd expect. It's just a mixture of a fag and a cigar. A bit nice to take more of a cigar taste. Quite nice, eh? Yeah. The initial one. Normally with a cigar, you, you can't take it down. You're supposed to swallow cigar smoke, aren't you? That's the... That's yeah. the that's the rule. Or just let it uh, move or around just, in your mouth. Mm, mm. 
Do you inhale these? Are you supposed to inhale these? It's certainly no problem if you do. Yeah, there's no problem there. Oh, that's delicious. It's really nice. It's a really nice, it, it's a nice uh, balance between a cigar and a cigarette. It is. But when, you want, when, you, when, you, when you want to smell the house out, mm. but you don't want to actually have to smoke a cigar, this is, the, this is what you'd go for, I think. Yeah. Uh, 1960s again, Steve, on these ones. 1960s. Golden Age. But I think these were probably another one from a ration pack. So, yeah, it's another one from a ration pack. Yeah, so what are we talking there? 60 years? 60, 60 years. Old, years a, six, yeah. a 60 year old. Well, pack. between 50 and 60. I don't know, I can't remember exactly when in the 60s, but yeah. Hmm. It's sad they don't have these in ration packs anymore. Like, if you know you're going over the. Uh... Pop in a pack of bags. Yeah. yeah. For everyone. Doesn't matter whether you're a smoker or not. I think everyone smoked back then, didn't they? Oh, if, you're, if you're out there, you're probably not too worried about what's going to kill you. Yeah. Yeah. But, yes. anyway, going back to these, it's just delicious. Mm. As always. I just love smoking. I do. Even though I quit. And they're beautiful as well, you know, so straight and in such perfect condition. They are, they are absolutely pristine, really smooth. Um, I said in the other in the first half of the video, obviously there's no discoloration. I guess it's a better quality paper than you'd normally get, isn't it, on a mm. on a cigar type thing? And look at that booing, like a little, very cigar like. Take my word for it. I think what people might not understand, I mean, if they're watching this, they probably do, but opening these and smoking them, it's like time traveling, isn't it? It's it the is, closest yeah. thing you can yeah. get to, yeah. to time travel and experiencing something that yeah. would have been To know that then. thousands of these packs were finished and crushed up and discarded and that this one wasn't, it was made then and it's survived till now for us to enjoy. Yeah, made it, for it, us. Made for us, yeah. Oh, so really nice. Actually, I, I just didn't inhale that last one. Just let it swirl, and it is really tasty. I mean, it, it tastes as good as like just a full blown cigar, actually. Mm, mm. But w w obviously, way easier for the novice smoker. So slight, the ladies, slight tingle on the tongue, which is always a good thing. Whenever I smoke a cigar, my girlfriend always complains that I smell like an old man. Yeah, but I am an old man now. Not as old as you, obviously. Well, don't tell everyone. Let them guess. Mm. Yeah, that's really nice. Oh, it's good. like a Sunday dinner. I wouldn't know. Well, <laughs> no, you wouldn't. But it is as close as you can get to being two veg as being a vegetarian. <laughs> I don't want them to know. They can go, they can go off you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you've already done that by being an ex-smoker. Yeah. Yeah. I don't smoke. You've already got the tails up with that. Actually, speak, I was thinking about this the other day. You know, whenever somebody quits smoking, or they could be quit for a while, they say, oh, I don't know why I ever smoked. It was disgusting. I never even enjoyed it. They're liars. Smoking is so fun, and it's delicious, and it feels great. So yeah. what they don't tell you, it's, it's just awesome. Especially yeah. when they're as old as this. <laughs> Although I am legitimately trying to, trying to stop. I haven't bought a... Well, I think you do very well. Thank you. Um, this is the only time I ever see you smoke. So we're doing about 12 of these videos a day now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really popular. Trying to get it up to mm. 20, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the next video will be opening up 20 pack of Lambert and Butler from 2019. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Some great historic value to that. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's not much you could say. I mean, they're not like pretentious wine connoisseurs. Oh, there's a hint of cherry. It just tastes like a really nice, smooth, easy to go down cigar. Not harsh. Yeah. Just lovely. It, in fact, it's 
some ways it's nicer than a cigar because you really just want to inhale the cigar smoke a lot of the time. You, you, you just want to have the taste of the cigar and the enjoyment of the cigar, but without the, let's be frank, some of these cigars, they last for hours. I've, I've had a cigar that's like, and you know, you can't clip them and pop them away. It's not, it's not au fait, is it? I think it's, uh, especially Cubans, it's disrespectful to stub them, isn't it? So you've just got to let them, uh, yeah, they're, 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 burn out. they're there for the evening. So, um, yeah, but if you want that instant cigar hit, I mean, this is this is essentially the uh, cigar room for us, right? We're the gentleman retreat. Correct. It's mostly just an outhouse, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> but a beautiful one. It's got running water and electricity. Mm. Oh, 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 that's a bit harsh. Is it a bit close to the filter there? Oh, I'm getting down to it. Oh, yeah, these are lovely fags. <laughs> They're not harsh at all. That that last one <clears throat> just went down the wrong way, I think. Probably smoking a filter now. I don't know. I'm trying to see where the filters mm. begin. Mm. As always. Th these old fags are just always enjoyable. They are. Cigarillos, sorry. And like he's like filter tipped actually on the box. So you would say last time about uh, yeah, the, the lack of filter. That, yeah, and the fact it's not advertised and how it is. Right, let's open this bad boy up and have a look at the filter. Very nice. Oh, I had a little bit more I could have gone down. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, just basically cigar tobacco, as you might expect. And the filter tip. Get that open. I think this is a charcoal filter tip, Steve. All right, so we can see actually there's two parts to the filter. Focus. So the first part of the filter is just a, a white charcoal filter. Focus. Sort your camera out, Steve. It's automatic. <laughs> it's on random. So that's the bottom part of the filter, the one that you can see when you're uh, when you open the fag, the brown little tip. And then above that, we had this charcoal white and orange. Well, it might not have been orange before we were smoking, but yeah, so charcoal filter as well. That was lovely, that one was. Beautiful. Very tasty. Well, thanks again, Steve. Anytime, See Josh. See you for the next one in three minutes. Yeah, indeed. Take care. <laughs>